Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Donna. How are you doing today? Um, I'm okay. I, I'm, I'm not uncomfortable particularly. I'm just tired all the time. Every year, 1.4 million Americans are diagnosed with cancer. The cost of that care is about $125 billion. But the statistics don't capture the reality of patients' lives. Different physicians, different offices, inpatient care, emergency room care, extended care. Well, let's take a look at the agenda for today. Our team is interested in how to optimize care by applying technology. And it seemed to us that there was a real opportunity to work in the area of cancer and build an interdisciplinary team. Many patients already have technology integrated into their lives. They come in with smartphones and tablets and are already using them for their interactions with the world. Before all of this, I swam pretty regularly and really enjoyed that and it particularly enjoyed how I felt. So maybe what might be helpful for you is if I can get you some articles and some resources on how to slowly build that stamina back up. The Personal Health Network is an application that is web-enabled, HIPAA compliant. It is accessible on a tablet, it's accessible anywhere you can be connected to the web. When you first open the Personal Health Network, you open to a page of messages, and those messages can be sent between the care coordination nurse and the patient, uh, between the oncologist and the patient. I can open up the patient's plan of care, and here I can see the forms that she's filled out. I can monitor her symptom assessment that she does every two weeks prior to our phone call. We have a tab on finances, insurance, and legal issues that come up for people, and also transportation and travel. I can also look at a summary where it will show me over time what her responses have been and how they've changed. And then we also have uh, the library, and the library for our study has uh, key things that all patients have access to. So for instance, if she's experiencing anxiety, I can look at that portfolio and after discussion with her, select a couple of things that she thinks might be helpful. For instance, a body scan guided meditation. I can put that into her library. Hi Susan, how have you been feeling? We've been able to make dramatic changes really quickly over the year and a half that I've been on the project. It's been really incredible. Looks like fatigue has been a big problem for you. Yeah, every patient that I've approached uh, you know, to participate in this has been very enthusiastic about it. They are able to learn a lot more about their disease. They're able to get those questions answered separate from the clinic visit. They really feel like their ability to communicate with the healthcare team is enhanced. We're gonna look at three outcomes. We're gonna look at health, that is how are they doing in terms of physical symptoms and well-being. Health delivery, their satisfaction with care, their number of referrals, those kinds of processes. And finally, healthcare utilization. Having uh, the center fund projects like this is absolutely essential to getting this work done. And there's very few places that we can go for this. Support from the center is making possible then the optimization of this technology for patients, for their family members, and for their care providers. But what we want to do is be part of the growing movement that asks how can technology meet the needs of individuals for whom this can make a critical difference our goal is, can we bend the cost curve and at the same time improve actually optimized care? This is helpful. Great. Well, I appreciate your time today, Jim. I'll definitely be following up with you. Okay. Thanks, Donna. Have a good day. All right. You too, Donna. Thank you.